Hello, all you beautiful people. I'm Leo Lee. And once again, I am branching out in the type of content I'm doing. <laughs> hey, I got to try different ways to grow my channel, right? But yeah, today I wanted to talk about uh, what's a pretty hot topic in the gaming industry right now. And that's the potential buyout of Ubisoft or Ubisoft, however you want to say it. But yeah, rumor mill says that Tencent, along with the Guillemot family, is reportedly um, about to buy Ubisoft or in talks to buy Ubisoft, I should say. And after they buy it, what they want to do is make the company private. Um, most people are focused on Tencent. But, you know, if you don't know about the Guillemot family, they are the original founders of Ubisoft. So they're still going to be involved with uh, this company. It's just that now, along with Tencent, they're going to, you know, make it private instead of public. Whether that's good or bad is remains to be seen. And there's a lot of concerns over the fact that Tencent's going to be, you know, a major player in Ubisoft now. Me personally, uh, I'm not really that worried. I, I understand Tencent, you know, is mainly known for their mobile games. And, you know, along, along with mobile gaming comes microtransactions. And with Tencent, it's mainly gotcha style games. But the reason I'm not really concerned about that is because, man, we're talking about Ubisoft. What's the difference? There is no difference. Ubisoft has been, Ubisoft games have been full of microtransactions for a while now. I mean, take a look at Valhalla. They go as far as to, you know, make purchase, purchase, purchasable, excuse me, English, purchasable armor sets that are stronger than anything you can unlock in the game. Now, there's an argument to be made whether that's acceptable or not, but, you know, it's still, it's still pretty icky, right? Uh, allowing players to purchase armor sets that are um, stronger and like significant, some of them are significantly stronger than armor sets you can unlock in the game. But that part's not what bothers me. Uh, there's a little concern over just how much of the gaming industry Tencent's starting to get a hold of. I mean, they're already a part of many, many games. But, you know, they're not just microtransaction games. You know, they have their hands in games like Black Myth Wukong and many other single-player games. So that's actually a positive sign. It's a positive outlook for Tencent acquiring Ubisoft. Because, you know, it seems like that they're branching out into the single player world. And, you know, for from what we can tell, they're, it, it, these are quality games. I mean, they're just minority shareholders. But, you know, we'll see how that goes with uh, when they have a majority share of a mainly single player game company. Also, going over this Forbes article, because of this rumor, it states that Ubisoft shares have surged 31%. <laughs> So people are kind of like a uh, full on going in um, buying Ubisoft stocks ahead of this rumor, <laughs> which I, I think is funny. It's still sketchy. I'd like I'm not a financial expert or anything, but, you know, I, I, I don't want to go in there and buy a bunch of Ubisoft stocks just yet. I, I'm, I want to wait to see what happens with shadows. That's a whole nother thing. Um AC Shadows, a lot of, lot of controversy surrounding that. You know, it's the reason I haven't talked about it because I really don't want to get into that. I don't want to, I don't want to touch it with the 10 foot pole. It's so controversial. But all, all I can say is that game created a lot of controversy. I don't think Shadows is the reason that Ubisoft's considering uh, selling, but it's just a, it's just a culmination of, you know, all the bad decisions they've made um, and leading up to Shadows. And, whether this buyout happens before or after, we don't know. But I can almost certainly say when Shadows is released and it's still in a very bad state and it's still viewed negatively, I don't think Ubisoft's going to be able to recover from that. And I think that's it's, it's going to be certain after that that Tencent and the Gile Mo family will buy out Ubisoft. They just not, they're not going to survive a bad release. I do want to say one little thing about AC Shadows. I don't understand why Ubisoft just can't come out and give us a proper apology for the mistakes that were made. I mean, one thing's for certain in my eyes, their most recent mistake with that uh, toy that they were releasing with the one-legged Tory gate, that's, that's just mind-numbingly offensive. And it's just, it, it dumbfounds me that it got past, uh, it got past Ubisoft's approval. Like, how do you do that? I, I just, I don't understand. I, I don't get it. 
And they still have, well, as far as I know, they still haven't properly apologized for that. I mean, they delayed the game, but really there was no apology for that specific issue. It, it's wild to me that, you know, they allowed something like that to happen. But this is on top of the, you know, mountains of other issues with the game and, you know, its depiction of Japanese culture. But yeah, that's as much as I'm going to say on that subject. But again, yeah, uh, I'm personally not worried about Tencent owning it in terms of what type of game, what, what that means for what type of games will be coming out of Ubisoft after the buyout. Again, Tencent has their hand, hand in a lot of pots right now. And we recently got a great game like Black Myth Wukong out of it. So maybe this is a good thing. Uh, maybe if Tencent and the Gile Mo family take over and they make Ubisoft private, we'll get great games like Wukong, especially with, you know, a powerhouse like Tencent funding it. But yeah, it is. It, it's a concern, like just how much Tencent <laughs> is involved in our uh, gaming industry right now. Very, very, very concerning. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Let me go back to the screen here. Uh, yeah, Ubisoft possibly being bought out by Tencent and the Gile Mo family. And I don't know. Whether that's good or bad remains to be seen. Um, also, whether or not it actually happens. And one last thing I want to say, and it's semi-related, you know, when it comes to game developers and, you know, employees of these game studios, when it comes to things like the inability to apologize, this trend of blaming gamers is, it has to stop. I'm, I'm incredibly sick of that. And I hate the argument that, hey, we shouldn't hate on these games or overly criticize them because these people worked hard and, you know, it's their dream to put out these titles. It's like, what does that have to do with us? You know, I get it. You work hard on it, but so does everybody else, right? I don't go into a restaurant, get served a bad steak and not complain about it, right? Let's say I'm going and it's a $50 steak and it's not cooked properly and it tastes like shit. I'm going to complain about it because I'm paying for this steak. I'm not going to sit there and think to myself, oh man, I should just suck it up and eat the steak because that chef and their line cooks worked so hard in that hot kitchen for God knows how many hours. All right, I'm going to respect that. Let's just eat the steak and suck it up for 50 bucks. No, that's not how any of this works. You go take your car to a mechanic. They do a shitty ass job and cause more issues in your car. Are you going to sit there and say, well, that mechanic was sweating his balls off trying to fix that car? No, you're not. This is a service that we're paying for. Video games are a product. Okay. I understand dev, you know, developers and programmers work very hard in the game, but I'm sorry. That has nothing to do with me. All right. I am the, I am the consumer. I buy a game. I either enjoy or dislike the game. I'm allowed to voice my opinion either way about it. None of this sob story about how hard this game is. I'm a small business owner, okay? If I provide terrible service and I get feedback, I'm not going to blame my customer. That's not how I roll. That's not how businesses should be run, all right? I'm going to take that complaint. I'm going to take it to heart and do everything in my power to satisfy that customer, right? There's always, but there's always that 1% that can't be satisfied, but I'm not going to sit there and badmouth them either way. All right. I'm just going to politely say, Hey, we can't resolve this issue. We're not going to come to an agreement and we'll just part ways. That's how you're supposed to run a business. If I ran a business like some of these game developers on Twitter, man, I'd be out of business tomorrow. <laughs> it's horrible. Stop blaming gamers. All right. How about you start listening to some of us and take our feedback, take it to heart. Don't get offended and either fix the issues that we're complaining about or release better product. It's that simple. It's not hard. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, once again, I rant. Please, if you enjoy this type of content, take a moment to like and subscribe. Helps me out greatly, and I appreciate it. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.